<coughs> this is the user interface we will see what the name of those what's indicated here let's see so first as you can see this R the alphabet R in some of your computer doesn't work right this one we call it application button and here we have tab you see home insert annotate structure these all are tab from quick access toolbar are here the upper side over here is we call it quick access toolbar so it, it helps us to use uh, something to find it something quickly so you can add it there quick access to bar i will minimize the pdf and i'll show what it is <coughs> i'll open the revit file you see here this one the upper one top that one is quick access to bar in this area for instance let me show you i'll go to modify click on modify tab <coughs> and you see here this one move this is move tools this one is copy tools so Instead of coming to modify tab and move tools, clicking move tools, shortcut, I can put it this move tools here so that while I'm working, I can click from it simply. Text. Now, if I want to click text from this menu, from this tab, I need to go to annotate the text. It's a long process. Maybe sometimes you forget where, where it's located. So we can put it in this quick access to bar. So I will keep this copy in this quick access to bar so I can see it easily. I will put this move also here. Then if you don't like it, you can remove it from this quick access to bar down. So let's see it together. You already opened right Revit file. So go to right click and this copy. Right click, then add quick access to bar. Click on add quick access to bar. So now have a look your copy already added in <coughs> quick access to bar i will add move also same things right click on move add to quick access to bar click on it it's already added so anything when you do for instance i'm here in architecture if i want to click move simply i can click from this move no need to go to modify and move but if you don't like it if you don't like to keep it in quick access to bar we can remove it to remove it, simply right click on that move toolbar. Then the first one, remove from quick access toolbar, click that, then the move tools will disappear. Again, right click on this copy, move, remove from access quick access toolbar, it will go. Okay, second one, the home is tab here. You see over here, this all the white color. I'll zoom in a little bit if you can see it. This one we call it ribbon. You see where it's located from here to here. This all we call them ribbons. And you see this one select, build, model, circulation, all of them we call them panels. So each panel has a separation over here, like underline, I mean line, vertical line. Under model, this one, we call them panels. We have option bar also here. For each of them, I put it for you to understand some description. We call them ribbon. The ribbon displays when you create or open a file, it provides all the tools necessary to create a project or families. This all of them, we call them ribbons. The option bar is located below the ribbon. The ribbon is this white one. So below the ribbon, it contains change depending on current tools and selected items. For example, I'll show you. The option part will appear here. Once you draw anything, for instance, I'll create on this system, I'll create one duct. Let's follow only. Duct, I'll draw it here. So if I click this duct, this is the option bar. It shows us the, the width of the duct the heights of the duct and the offset of the duct. So always it will show us in this uh, option bar or in this properties palette. You see this left side, we call it properties palette and it has under uh, title also properties. So all the specification of uh, the ducting, it will show here. For the duct airflow, for the level, the offsets, everything it will show 
here but temporary in this option bar also you can see now this is the duct what I created if I want to change the weeds I can select from here and just for your information you will see you will know it later on I will change it here height from here I can change it the width from here I can change the level I don't have anything I can add the level from here 3000 height or I can add it here in this properties palette this one is properties palette I can add it from there like 2500 so once I change it here it will change in option bar also same things if I change here it will change here so this one we call it option bar next drawing area the drawing area is this empty place over here are the drawing area you see those balloons over here they are for elevation elevation view if I double click in this balloon this one is for west east we have northwest east already south and west this all of them are belongs to these balloons so that's an indication so this is working area by the way So quick access toolbar, you already, we have seen it already. Status bar, the status bar is located along the bottom of our Revit windows. This is the one down at the bottom over here. Corner, that one is the status bar. When you are using the tools, the left side of the status bar provides tips or hints on what to do. When you are highlighted on elements or components, the status bar displays the name of the family and types so it will show you also the progress bar uh, you see this one right if you open any heavy heavy files because sometimes you think it's hanging but it will show you in this status bar that it's loading so when the loading finished then you can continue to work all right the project browser we have seen it already shows a logical hierarchy for all views, schedules, sheets, families, groups, and linked Revit models. I'll zoom in. Before that, this is our project browser. Everything you can see it here. Let me open the PDF first. You see this one, the yellow, threatened Revit links. If you link any file, architecture or structural or something, it will show you Below this, what you link with any file, you can see there under project or in our Revit files, it will show us here down Revit link or in this manage and manage link, it will show us here also. That one we will see the next class. And properties palette. Is uh, where you can view or modify the parameters that defines the property elements in Revit. This is the properties palette. So anything you selected, you can see it here all the spec. If you check the first first picture here, I think it's clear now. This one is the properties palette. Is it that? The first one is type selector. The type selector is from, look, I'll, this one, this that I'll select. This is the type selector. The one that I highlighted or the selected part is rectangular duct. So the type I can select from here. Maybe you need round duct. So you will change it from this. You can drop down. You can change from here. And the round duct is shown tabs. We have tab show. I can change it from here. This is for type selector. Status bar, view control bar. The view control bar, we will see it later. This is the view control bar. If you want to see the view in realistic view, same like what you see in realistic, we have wireframe also. If you want to see like wireframe, like X-ray view, and different type of views we have. That one, while you are working, you can understand it. I'll show you. And we have tools, contextual information center. All right, over here. You see those all insert system annotate those are ribbon tabs we call them ribbon tabs this all white color what do we call it ribbons 
those are ribbon tabs and those all tools are ribbon tools all right now this template is for MEP you guys know but if you, you don't like to see the architecture tab structural tab how do you remove these tabs there is an option same like before let's go to file then option click file then options this dialog box will come then here user interface let's click on user interface you see those through our right hand side we have architectural tab tools structural if I remove these tools the mark then ok now it's disappeared look up we don't have architectural we don't have structural we only have insert we have system annotate and so on if you need to return it back again we need to go back to same place file then options then user interface make tick mark on both then press ok so now it shows up there is another way also why you can move it or you can organize the location by drag and drop it somewhere else i'll go to architectural tab click and hold your mouse your left click and hold in architectural tab then move it the architectural tab okay press control first in your keyboard press control key in your keyboard then go to the architectural tab click and hold it left click and hold it and move it anywhere where do you want to put it so once you decide to put it somewhere else just release your keyboard if i want to return back also same press control key first in your keyboard hold your mouse click and hold your mouse and move it to the left This way we can move it. Second things, this is the panel. You see opening over here. We have opening. Under what play panel we have those tools? Set, show, reference. Under that room we have grids and labels. We have like separator. Under opening we have those. So if you need to move this one also, you can use same way. Just click on this dot room and move it. And this work plane, just click and hold it then move it down maybe some of you can see it because make sure you are under architectural tab click on architectural tab then you will see them so opening i'll click and hold it and move it this way we can move it if you if you need to replace it back to the right and to the previous location also just hover your mouse to opening you see the, here we have a drop down uh, arrow just click there return panel to ribbon once you click there automatically it will return back to the right place again i will hover my mouse to the panel just click on this arrow it will return back to the right place again hover and click there to return back to the right place